You're watching the third video in a series of tutorials to help you learn how to use Filmora 9, the fun to use, easy to learn video editor for all creators. By watching our tutorials, you can learn everything you need to know to create your own videos in Filmora 9. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to import media, as well as add media to the timeline, organize media, and use the instant cutter. To start, let's click on the window that says Import Media Files here. Here we can navigate and find the media that we want to work with if it's located somewhere on our computer. I'll grab some stock footage here to import. There's plenty more ways to import in Filmora 9. You can visit the Import drop-down menu to import media if it's located on a phone, camera, or on social media. You can also import a whole folder here if you have all your media located in a folder. You can also drag media from your computer to the media window. Another thing located in this menu is the Instant Cutter. This is a super fast way to do a rough cut of a video that doesn't need much editing and can render instantly. Whereas normally it takes a while to render a video, the Instant Cutter is literally instant. By selecting Import with Instant Cutter tool, we can open up the Instant Cutter. Near the top left corner is a button that says Open File. Here we can navigate to any MP4 clip on our computer and import into the Instant Cutter. Moving to the right part of the window, there's a timeline as well as a display to see your footage. If I grab the orange playhead here, I can scrub through my clip. If you want to trim off the start or end of your video, it's easily done by click grabbing one of the light blue handles on the timeline here and dragging it to shorten the clip. In the Merge section of the Instant Cutter, you can quickly put clips together in a new video by importing some and then arranging the order you want the clips to be in. The clip at the top will play first, and the clip on the bottom will be last. By clicking and dragging the clip by this icon here, you can choose the order that your clips appear when they are merged together. You can click the blue export button at the bottom right corner of the window to export the clip. Here it will let you choose where you put your finished clip. You can also visit the When Done menu to open the folder or to have your clip be imported into Filmora if you want to keep editing it. So those are a few ways to import media. By right clicking in the big gray box here, you can import more media. So I'm going to do that now so we can organize the clips. I'm going to just select all my clips and click open. By clicking the little squares up next to the search bar, we can choose how to sort files, how to group them, and choose how we see the clips. By clicking on list view, we can see our media reorganized here, as well as all of the information for our clips displayed. Beside that icon, we can filter our media area to only show us what we want displayed. By clicking this icon here, we can create a folder, and right beside that, we can delete a folder. Folders are a nice way to organize your media. For example, you can keep all your B-roll in one folder and your best shots in another, to keep it organized. By right-clicking the folder, you can change the name. There you have it! Everything you need to know about importing media. Thanks for watching! Check out our other tutorials to learn how to edit a video from start to finish on Filmora 9.